Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, please subscribe if you haven't yet already. There's a red button beneath me somewhere and if you click on that, you'll be subscribed to my channel. There's also a white bell next to that somewhere and if you click on that, you'll get an alert every time I upload new content and if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Today is another installment in my series about the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. And today I'm gonna to try to focus on pinks and reds and also the kind of glimmer glitter shades. There are two in this palette, Absolution and Rapture, and they've both been designed as toppers specifically. So I'm not going to swatch the whole palette at all, but I will do this. I'll show this to you with Absolution. It's the, the wider of the two. So I don't even know if you'll be able to see this, but that's a brush swatch of Absolution by itself. I'm gonna color switch this. This is a brush swatch of Rosary by itself. So, Absolution and Rosary. And I'm going to use my color switch again. And I'm gonna pick up Absolution and put it only on one part of the swatch of Rosary just to show you what it's designed to do. So, that is the side of Rosary that has Absolution on it. And that is the side of Rosary by itself. So it gives it this extra kind of glimmery, kind of glittery, kind of glimmery color. So that's what those two colors are designed to do. I'm hearing better things about Absolution than I am about Rapture, and that's the color that I'm more drawn to right now because even though I'm planning on going with pinks and reds today, I feel like that might be better, but we'll see where we go. So I'm gonna start building up my crease, and I'm gonna go in with this I really like. This is Ulta had a Real Techniques set that came out Black Friday or Cyber Monday, and it had two dual-sided brushes and two sponges that are designed for strobing. But the smaller of the set, I'm really enjoying for my eyes, for giving myself really broad, feels nice, really broad blending and transition colors. So I'm first gonna go in with Martyr. I'm going in with the biggest side of this brush. I'm gonna tap the heck out of it because I really want to diffuse this. And when I've also already done my makeup, I used the Ordinary Cover Foundation and I just put a little bit of that on my eye and I also used some, I just brought a little bit of that up onto my eye. I didn't actually use any primer today. Today is actually a day that I have taken off of work. I have some holidays saved up and I've taken this day off to film and edit a bunch of videos. So I'm gonna take this off as soon as I'm done. So I didn't do a lot with my face today. I'm more focusing on my eyes. All right, that was a big brush of Martyr. Now I'm gonna go in with, this is a, a Sigma Diffuse Crease Brush an E38, and I'm gonna go in with Crucifix and tap that off. That is darker than I expected it to be, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques blending brush just to kind of diffuse that a little bit, blend that a little bit. All right, and that's actually not bad, kind of by itself. Maybe I can go in with one more. Actually, I'll go in with a small pencil brush. This is a Makeup Geek pencil brush, and I'm gonna go in with Worship. Just a little, very, very gently in here. I'm trying to lay it right on my crease. All right. Okay, now I'm ready for some color. I'm gonna go in with Rosary. This is a Morphe Flat M124, and I'm gonna go in with Rosary, tap it off all over my lid. That is pretty. It's prettier on my eye than it was on my hand. It's so, just the color is so rich and it's so like multifaceted. It's not a duochrome, but it just feels like such a, looks like such a rich, a rich color. I'll actually bring you in a little bit. Sorry I didn't do that before. That's better. Sorry about that. All right. And I'm tapping it off because I don't want to get it on my face. But I'm not getting a lot of fallout from this palette, actually. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, I don't know if all the richness of this color is picking up on screen, but it's a rosy pink, but it almost, and it's not a duochrome, but it has like gold in it, like golden kind of undertones and it's a very interesting color. I'm gonna go in with my color switch. And I am going to lay Absolution just over the center. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty. Very subtle. Less subtle. 
now that I'm putting more on. That is really pretty. So what this is doing, it's nice. It's kind of making it more pearly and, and glimmery. And it's keeping, often when I use layered colors like this, it changes the color of kind of the base color. I'm gonna go back in with my Real Techniques brush just to kind of blend this out a little bit. But with this, with putting Absolution on the top of it, it actually is kind of keeping the real color there. It's not really changing anything about it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna actually go in with the same brush and I am gonna use my color switch because I'm gonna go in with Rapture. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see much with that because it's pink on top of pink, but just, just to see. So this is the color, but it's not, it's supposed to be very, very sheer. Yeah, I'm not, oh. It is kind of changing the color, making it a little bit richer. But I do think that I'm getting a lot more payoff with Absolution than I am with Rapture. And I think what I'm gonna do is go in with Rosary with the Real Techniques angled brush under my eye. I think I'm just gonna amp up the shadow and not line just to keep the colors in this look the most prominent things. And maybe I'll go in with this small MAC detailer brush from back in the day and with Heaven on my inner corner and actually under my eye too. That is pretty. I will do lashes, lips, and then come back to give you some final thoughts. All right, I'm back. I used Essence Lash Princess. I've tried to say that a few times. It's hard to say. Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And then for my lips, I used Smashbox Foiled Brat. It's one of their metallic lipsticks. It came in a trio at Sephora, if it's still there. I'll put a link in the description box down below. I am not trendy by any stretch of the imagination unless the trend is like a retro thing. That's the only time that I'm really ever trendy. So the whole metallic, I bought this set separate from obviously the Kat Von D, but as an aside, I bought this because I really wasn't doing anything with that metallic lip trend that was happening. I don't think it's for me, but it's definitely interesting to have little kind of trial sizes to try things out when they're outside of your comfort zone. But I do like my eyes. I am really not used to having eyeshadow all around and to not having a cat eye, but I like this. And the colors are so pretty. I'm really, really, really enjoying this palette a lot. And I hope that you're enjoying watching me use it. Thank you so much for watching. A lot to do in the world, a lot to do on YouTube, and I really appreciate your time. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.